the top three things that we that people like to eat usually are tuna, salmon, and, and shrimp. Those are the top three selling items in the US by volume by far. And there are all these other choices that we could be making that would be more sustainable, more environmentally friendly, probably more be better for us, for, for our health. And we've sort of lost our ability to diversify. So what we really ought to be thinking about is, can I learn to try different things? We've lost our taste for what fish really tastes like. True oily fish, which are the ones that are really actually best for us, like sardines and mackerel and herring, anchovies. Those, to, to the American palate, taste much too fishy. But can we find a way to, to switch our preferences to some of these things that would be better for us than eating higher up the food chain where we lose some of those health benefits? And we're also taking out some of the top predators in the ocean, which is never a sensible thing to do. A bluefin tuna, for example, is equivalent really to a lion in, in an ecosystem in Africa. So it's a top predator and it relies on a lot of animals in the middle that have probably grazed on something. And so you have a similar thing in the ocean. You have grazers and then you have the carnivores and then you have the top carnivore. And so on the land, we generally, we don't eat our carnivores. We're not going out eating the wolves or the lions. What we we're doing is eating those grazers in the middle, generally, because those are the ones that have the larger populations. It makes sense. So by thinking about where, how can I eat lower on the food chain and not impact some of these top species, even salmon who are kind of the top predator in their ecosystem, and start thinking about maybe I could try something like sardine, or maybe I'm going to try a fish like catfish, which is farmed in a really sustainable way, or tilapia. And we should really just be trying new things.